Do you remember this ugly abandoned sign at the corner of West Airport in 1092? Well, you have to remember because now it's gone. That sign had been there for a very, very long time. It is a sign that's been there since the, I want to say 70s or 80s. And it was one of those signs that um, it was off premise. So essentially what happened is that there was an ordinance change that then said that if you had a certain sign, it had to be on your property. Well, this sign actually belonged to the property next door, but they just didn't use it, didn't utilize it. So it ended up sitting vacant for a very, very long time. And the owner who actually owned the sign didn't want to do anything to it because he was afraid he'd make the neighbors next door angry. There was a lot of conversation about removing this sign in the past. Uh, council requested it, uh, so we just, went, spoke with the owner, made the proper arrangements and, and got it got it okay to take down. So that was a contractor that was uh, hired um, through the city and most specifically through the Stafford Economic Development. Uh, part of their projects they can do is in order to uh, help with beautification and taking care of substandard structures here in the city. So that was one of those uh, structures that was substandard. So SCDC went ahead and approved the project and so it was taken down by um, the Stafford Economic Development Corporation. My friend were here eat, getting ready to eat lunch at the Luby's and then my friend was asking me what they were doing with the excavator and I told him it looks like they're about to knock down the sign and then he was like how do you know and I was like well they got the excavator there and uh, he was like how are they gonna pull it and I said well they gotta cut it first and then once they get it cut enough that they're gonna knock it down with the excavator. I really want to say um, I think a lot of props goes out to Scott McElrath. He's our code um, compliance administrator. He's the one who went out and coordinated with the owners. Uh, he's the one who found the contractor. And so a lot of the prop goes out to him and uh, his efforts uh, for this project. I think people are going to be happy that it's down. For Stafford Weekly News, this is Randall Williams.